Welcome to Office Hours by Triple X Church. I'm your host, Carl Thomas. I'm a pastor, certified neuro health coach, and a guy who frankly struggled with a lot of the stuff we talk about here for over 20 years until I found freedom over a decade ago. In today's episode, we are going to be jumping in and answering this question. How often are you, myself, tempted to look at a woman further than just recognizing her beauty? That's what I will be discussing today, so make sure you hang in there with me. Recognize that no questions are off the table, and I'm going to be as honest with my answers as I possibly can be, so please don't get offended. Without any further delay, let's jump in. Okay, so this question came into our office hours page. How often are you tempted to look at a woman further than just to recognize her beauty? Um, now, he didn't, whoever submitted this question didn't specify when he says you, he meant me, Carl Thomas, but I'm assuming that's what he meant, uh, which is great because I, I have no problem being transparent here. And I think it's a good question because I think a lot of times, especially as men, uh, we get hung up on this idea of temptation versus lust and uh, you know where to draw the line, et cetera, et cetera. As far as the question goes, how often am I tempted to look at a woman more than just to recognize her beauty? The answer is every day. All right. Now, let me qualify that. All right. Temptation, and I talk about this in my book, When Shame Gets Real, temptation is normal. All right. I'm not saying it's a good thing that we want it in our lives, but it's something we all got to deal with. All right. Uh, just because you're tempted doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It's just part of the human existence, right? Especially living in a broken world. So anytime me or you or anyone else gets the opportunity to do something that is going to either satisfy uh, a lustful craving or get them ahead in the world or whatever, the temptation is always going to be present. Let me take this outside the sexual realm to give you an idea. Uh, I am not by definition, or I wouldn't characterize myself as a liar. Most people that know me say, hey, one thing you know about Carl is he says what he thinks. Um, you, you get the real deal. And, and that's, that's something I try to live by, okay? I always want to be a very authentic person. Uh, I want to be known for my integrity. I'm not saying I don't screw up, but I, I value honesty uh, very highly, right? Now, how often am I tempted to lie? I don't know. Every time I get into a situation or a conversation where either A, the truth is going to be awkward and uncomfortable or embarrassing, or B, any time where telling a lie is going to put me in a better light or make me look better than I actually am, right? Um, so what we're talking about is manipulation. Someone says, hey, uh, how's the ministry going? You know, how many views are you getting? Blah, blah, blah. The temptation is always to, uh, I don't know, indulge, right? Uh, expand uh, the real numbers because you want to look like a big shot, right? The temptation's there, but it doesn't mean I run with it, all right? Just recognizing the temptation is there is fine. Uh, I'm aware of it, but it's not that big a deal because I, I live my life by a certain creed. And uh, quite honestly, when those thoughts come into my head, it's pff, whatever. And I try to blow them aside. Now, again, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying that sometimes when I'm tempted to lie, it's not a little bit of a struggle, especially when someone asks you a question that's going to be like really be uncomfortable. Yeah, sometimes lying feels really like the preferable route. But I still try to make sure that I go with my values and with beauty, attraction, lust. It's the same thing. Anytime you, me, or anyone else sees somebody who that they're attracted to. And again, I talk about this in my book, attraction is not a bad thing. It's natural. It's normal. It's by no means sinful, okay? It's okay to recognize that you're attracted to somebody. But every time you're attracted to somebody, the temptation is always going to be there to say, hey, you know what? Maybe we should, uh, I don't know, objectify this person a little bit. Maybe we should fantasize about this person a little bit because that's going to feel really good. And if you struggle or have struggled in the past with porn and masturbation and those sorts of things, I think the tendency there is even more so, okay? But you don't have to go through with the temptation. I don't have to go through with the temptation. 
but I do need to recognize it's there. And then I just need to do what I need to do, which is, hey, I recognize that thought's there. I don't need to indulge it. I'm gonna go with what I know is to be the right thing. And again, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna say I get it right 100% of the time, but I have a list of things that I mentally process through if that temptation seems extra strong or more strong than the normal, which is not that big a deal. Uh, if you're struggling with porn, masturbation, some sort of sexual behavior, or if that part of your life is in the recent history, I would say the level of temptation is definitely going to feel stronger than what it might be 10 years down the road. So for me, 10 years ago, was I tempted? Yes. Was the level of temptation insane? Yes. And what did I usually do? I usually just fell on my face and rolled with it, right? It, it felt overwhelming because I was stuck in this addictive lifestyle. Today, over a decade later, is the temptation there? Yes. Is it super strong? Pretty much no. Usually no. Um, is it, does it feel overpowering? Not usually. And am I usually successful? Yes. Definitely more so than 10 years ago. So again, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. No one's perfect. But temptation is always going to be part of your life. And uh, trying to get around that fact or trying to get focused on this idea of I need to get to a place where I'm no longer tempted is unrealistic. And it's, it's not even needed, okay? Being tempted's fine. It's what you do with the temptation. And the more this stuff is behind you, the easier that's going to get. Hope that question or that answer helps. Uh, if you have a question for me that you want me to answer in an upcoming Office Hours episode, go to triplexchurch.com forward slash office dash hours, submit your question, and I will answer it in the coming weeks. That's all I got. Have a great weekend.